everyone! Welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at our mini sewing machine bobbin threading problems, okay? And recently, I got a message from my lovely viewer Pooja, who said that when she's been sewing, it seems like her bobbin inside the bobbin casing appears to be bouncing up and down, okay? And that's kind of interrupting her flow of sewing and how her mini sewing machine performs, okay? So today with Pooja, we're going to look at that problem that you just mentioned, okay? And I'm also generally going to talk about why it's so important that you thread your mini sewing machine bobbin properly so that you are able to sew properly, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to keep today's video really short, really simple, okay? I'm not even going to sew anything today because I discovered something which is kind of like a little bit technical, but you have to look at it closely in order to see what I'm trying to talk about. So I'm going to set my camera up to really zoom in on this little bobbin casing and then walk you through what that mini sewing machine bobbin threading problem is, okay? Okay, so here we are and we are looking down upon the mini sewing machine bobbin casing, okay? Um, and if you've seen this video, you will see that I've already talked about how to thread the mini sewing machine bobbin, okay? Um, and um, in there I've mentioned that you need to use something called the nifty nine method to remember how to place your bobbin properly in your casing, okay? So right now my upper thread is black, as you can see, okay? I'm going to open the bobbin casing. And here I've got a white bobbin, okay, with a white thread in it. And when I say nifty nine method, what that means is that your bobbin thread should be making the figure nine. So when I'm pulling the thread down, it's making the figure nine shape, okay? And the correct way to thread your mini sewing machine is to place it like this with the bobbin making number nine, okay? And then see this little groove there? You're supposed to run your thread through that groove and then close the casing, okay? Um, and then to bring the thread up, what you do is you turn the hand wheel towards yourself while holding the top thread. And the needle's supposed to go down and as it goes down, in fact, let me open this, let me show you. As the needle goes down, the black thread is going to go around the bobbin. You'll see it coming now. Come on, black thread, there it is. Do you see it coming around? And now it's going to catch the white thread, okay? There, it's caught the white thread. And now when I pull this up, you will see, you will see that the white thread has come up. And now we can take anything to kind of lift the white thread out from the bottom and out through that little hole there okay i hope you guys can see it so the white thread is now the bobbin thread is now coming out through that hole okay so now that both the threads are out from that top casing we can close this now okay and now we kind of join the threads together and slide them back okay and this is the correct bobbin threading for our mini sewing machine and it's correct because look what happens when we are sewing we're sliding the fabric back that way okay which means this bobbin thread which is a white thread let's let's pretend we are sewing this white thread pulls on the fabric okay there we go and now look at the bobbin move so i'm going to pretend i'm sewing now look at the bobbin see it's sitting nicely and even though i'm pulling it it's running smoothly now the main mistake that happens is when people forget the nifty nine method okay and you might be thinking you're doing it right, but in fact, what you might be doing is making the, the letter P, which is this way, okay? Now, with just a slight shift, with just a slight change in the position of the bobbin, look what happens. Right now, this is wrong, okay? This is not right for this machine. I'm putting it in using the letter P shape, okay? And once again, like before, we're going to raise the bottom thread so I turn the hand wheel towards myself the thread goes around 
there it is going around okay I've got it there it is okay I'm gonna pull up the bobbin thread and as before you might think you're doing it perfectly well um, just sliding both the threads back like we normally do but now look what happens when I pull on the threads look at the bobbin carefully do you see what's happening there the bobbin is bouncing once again look again look at the bobbin casing here see this black thing it's constantly bouncing up and striking against this look at this the bobbin's trying to jump out do you see this this is not how it should be okay when you are sewing it should sit flush really nicely and smoothly perfectly level and it should be able to run smoothly so now let's place it correctly using the figure nine method okay the nifty nine method so now it's making a figure nine and now if i pull it back do you see i'm pulling it quite roughly and it's still sitting flush it's not bouncing up okay so just remember something very slight like a mistake in how you're placing the bobbin inside the casing can affect your sewing you don't want your bobbin to be bouncing up and down okay uh, clashing against the casing cover okay that's gonna just mess up your sewing okay a sewing machine is just such a fragile piece of machinery okay every single gear every single step that you take while sewing counts okay every single thing needs to be done and threaded properly for it to work properly okay and if you mess this up if you mess up the positioning of your bobbin you're going to suffer your sewing is going to suffer okay so remember when you're threading your bobbin follow the nifty nine method okay which is to make a figure nine with your bobbin and then it should be fine. If you put it the other way, making the letter P, the bobbin is going to bounce up and the casing is going to bounce up, okay? And that's going to mess up your sewing. Booja, I hope this answers your question, okay? I am going to um, translate this into uh, um, Hindi or Urdu and see if that might help you guys further, okay? And that's going to come up in a future episode. But for now, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you guys soon. Bye!